Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. How are you doing today? Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. How was your day? Um, I was... I was... Um, Perdón, I was clean, cleaning my house. Oh, that's nice. Excellent, excellent. A lot of <laughs> <Thanks>. house chores. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> that's good. That's good. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today, I would like for us to get started. Uh, the first section that we're going to be looking at is section number 1.3, 2. Part verbs will for responding to requests. Part verbs will for responding to requests. I would like for us to analyze the video and then we are going to discuss the topic and I will give you some examples. Listen, please. Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Let's talk about two part verbs or phrases. Turn it down. Pick up. All right, let's look at the first example. So, if I say to you, uh, these are what we call phrasal verbs. The name of these verbs are called phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs. Okay. For example, if somebody says, turn down the TV, you can say, you can say, turn down the TV, you can put the noun, the TV, at the end, turn down the TV, or you can say, turn it down. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it talking about? Pronoun. It's the pronoun which represents what? Turn it down. What is it? The Turn, TV. Represent very, the it TV. represents the TV. So you can put the pronoun in the middle. For example, if somebody says, hey, uh, please. Yeah. Please turn down the music. And what do you respond? What do you respond? Okay. I'll. I'll turn it down. Turn it down. That is the response. All right. Or let's say another example, pick up, pick up, right? Somebody says, uh, pick up your things, pick up your things, or you can say, pick your things up 
and it expresses the same thing. Or you can say, pick them up, right? And then the response, you can say, I will pick them up next week. I will pick them up next week. I will pick them up next week. So basically, these are what we call phrasal verbs, which is two words that represent one activity. Two words that represent one activity. Or for example, if somebody says to you, uh, turn off, turn off. The computer. Turn off the computer or you can say. Turn it off. Or you can say turn the computer off and then you respond okay i will turn off the computer okay so these are some examples of the phrasal verbs and how you can use them in everyday conversations. At this moment, does anybody have any questions about this topic? Any questions about this topic? Can somebody give me an example? Can somebody give me an example with turn it down? One example with turn it down. Maybe similar turn down the radio. Very good. Turn yes. down the radio. That's a good okay. one. Okay. Turn Thank down you. the radio. Good job. Another turn, example. Turn down the TV. Okay. Turn down the TV. Good. Good. Turn down the TV. All right. Another example. What about an example with turn off? Turn off. One example with turn off. Turn off the light. Okay, turn off the light, turn off the camera. Okay. Good, good. Excellent, excellent. Okay, let's look at the video. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Let's talk about two part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts, a verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know the two part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place and put off means to postpone. Okay, now uh, let's look at the two examples. Put to place. What does that mean? For example, if I say, um, if I say, put the coffee, put the coffee cup on the table, right? That means to place or put my plate put my plate on the bed 
that means to place something. Or you can say, uh, put your clothes in the closet, right? That means to place something somewhere. But if I say put off something, that means to postpone something for another day. For example, don't put off what you can do today or tomorrow. All right. Or a, another example could be a, don't put off your studies for later. Do it now. Or you can say, uh, don't put off washing the dishes. Do it now. All right, so put off means to postpone something to another date. Any questions? Any questions at this moment? Any questions? At... Any questions? Okay, let me have one example with put. One example with put. To place. Okay. Put the phone on the table, please. Excellent. Put the phone on the table, please. Good job. Another example. Another example. Put the, the camera in the box. Thank you, Karen. Put the camera in the box. Yes. Selma? Uh, put the clothes in the washing machine. Put the clothes in the washing machine. Good, good. Another example. Another example. With put. Teacher is correct. Say put the dog on the yard. Put the dog in the yard. Yeah. Or normally people say, let the dog out. No. Let the dog out. Let the dog out. Okay. Sorry, teacher. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. And for example, the partner say, put a put the, bueno, the article is a in a box or is a in, on, es decir, sobre, in, dentro. Correct, in the bag, that is correct. In okay. the bag, on the table, in the yes. bag. Correct, good job. All right, uh, who can give me example with put off? Put off, an example with put off. Put off the notebook to make the, the homework. Mm, put off the notebook to make the homework. 
No. Eh, put off es como cuando quieres... Es no, no, no. Put off es posponer algo. Mm. Uh -huh. Take off, por ejemplo, uh, quítate los zapatos antes de entrar. You say, eh, take off your shoes before entering. No, put off es cuando tú quieres decir posponer algo. Por ejemplo, tú dices, voy a posponer la vacación una semana. You can say, I will put off my vacation one week. Okay, somebody give me an example with put off. An example with put off. Uh, maybe put the meeting off to another day. Put off my English class. Okay, very good. Correct. Both are correct. Put the meeting off for next week, correct? ¿Cuál era la otra? Repeat, please. Uh, who said the other one? Repeat, please. Put off my wedding, my oh. mother. Okay, okay. I have to put off my wedding because of the weather. Imagínese que usted programó su boda en la playa y para esta fecha, por ejemplo, es imposible por, por los huracanes y todo eso. Usted dice, oh, I have to put off my wedding because of the weather. Tengo que posponer mi boda por el clima. Another example? Yes. Put off my English class. Ah, okay. Uh, I have to put off my English class, digamos por el mismo tema, ¿verdad? Por el clima, por el internet. Because of my internet connection. All right. Teacher, uh, ¿Ah? ¿A dónde lo está escribiendo? Disculpe. En el grupo de WhatsApp, en el chat del grupo del WhatsApp. Ok, gracias. Yes. Yes. Robert. Um, I have another example. Uh, of course. Uh, we have to put off the game the next Sunday. Very good. Very good. Okay. Good example. We have to put off the game for next Sunday. We have to put off the game for next Sunday. Ajá, digamos que el partido estaba programado para hoy. Obviamente hoy no se puede jugar porque hay casi un huracán. So, tiene que posponerlo para el próximo sábado, domingo. Si so usted le dice al equipo, hey guys, eh, we have to put off the game for next Sunday. Tenemos que posponer el partido para el próximo domingo. All right. All right, good. I see that a lot of people uh, understand this topic. Uh, let me see. You can put off Hi. your homework because it's the next week. <laughs> okay. Yes, Karen. 
the other example, um, I have to put off my English exam for, for because uh, the traffic, <laughs> because the traffic is difficult. Okay, yes, that's okay. You can say that. I have to put off my English exam. I have to put off my English exam because traffic is heavy. Teacher. Hi. I can say, I have to put off my visit to the my visit to the zoo because I'm sick. Yes, yes, that's perfect. That's perfect. I have to put off my visit to the zoo because I am sick perfect perfect all right let's continue let's look at the next one let's move on talking about two part verbs with nouns if the object is a noun for example tv car computer can come before or after the particle read the following examples with me the noise woke the giant up or the noise woke up the giant. Okay, so here I can say, I can say, for example, um, the music, the music woke the baby up, la música despertó el bebé, or I can say to you, the music woke up the baby, or you could say the music woke him up. All are possible. All are possible. The noise woke the giant up. El ruido despertó al gigante. The music woke the baby up. La música despertó al bebé. The noise woke up the giant. El ruido despertó al gigante. The music woke up the baby. La música despertó al baby. Or the music woke him up. All of those are possible. Uh, can somebody give me an example? Can somebody give me an example? The music uh -huh. woke her up. Okay, the music woke her up. Good. Another example. The music woke her up. Good. Another example. The noisy uh, of TV. Walk, 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 walk up my grandmother. Excellent, excellent. Good job, good job. Peter, yes, sorry. yes, Marlene. I have a question. Yes. The verb of the sentence we're going to use have to be in past or in present or whatever. Uh, no, no, no. It doesn't have to be in past present. It can be in whatever context uh, you are talking about. 
Okay. If it's past tense, it depends. It, it depends if you're talking about a past experience. Um, for example, if you say, um, el gallo siempre me despierta. In that case, I will use simple present, mm -hmm. right? I'm gonna say, the rooster always wakes me up. Okay. The rooster always wakes me up. That is simple present, simple past. Um, the car horn woke me up. That is simple past. Okay, or if I want to use the future, uh, the alarm, the alarm, will wake me up, uh -huh. right? So all of these are possible, past, present, and future. It just depends on the context or in what uh, context you wanna express it. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, let's continue, let's continue. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different verb, with a different particle, with a different particle, call her back. Okay, in this section, uh, basically the emphasis is that the subject pronoun only goes in the middle, all right? The subject pronoun, him, it, her, only goes in the middle. For example, pick him up. I cannot say, Pick up him. Pick up him. That is incorrect. Pick up him is incorrect. No, you cannot say that. Um, teacher. Hi. If he, I try to say, for example, can you pick me up? That's oh, correct. yes. That is correct. Oh, that is okay. correct. Yeah, if you say, can you pick me up? That is correct. Oh. But you cannot oh. say, can you pick up me? That is incorrect. That is incorrect. Does that make sense? Do you understand? Yeah, I got it. I got yes. It. Yes. Okay. So the pronouns cannot go at the end, only in the middle. Questions, 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 questions. Somebody give me a question. Uh, teacher. Hi, uh, Robert. For example, uh, I try to say, uh, uh, pick it up. That's correct. Pick it up. Yes. Okay. But you cannot say pick up it. Oh, okay. So all, all, anytime it's in the middle. Every time the pronoun is in the middle, you say. Oh. All pick right. it up is correct. Pick up it is incorrect. Incorrect. All right, let's continue.
As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back means to return something to its original place. We will finish this explanation by adding... All right, let's look at the first one. Put off to postpone. Right, posponer algo. Put on es ponerte algo, ponerte una camisa. Put on a shirt. O ponerte los zapatos. Put on your shoes. Y put back quiere decir regrésalo donde estaba. Put it back. Okay. Put, put back my cell phone. Eh, put back my food. That's my pizza. <laughs> hey, put back my soda. That's my Coca-Cola. Uh, put back my churros, my chips. Regresa mis churros. All right, so put back is regresa algo, mi taza. Put back my cup. Do you understand? Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Yes. What is your question? Yes. Uh, in number two, put on uh -huh. when, when I use. Ah, put on is, for example, para vestirse con algo. For example, ponte una, una gorra. Put, put on a cap. O ponete los zapatos. Put on your shoes. O eh, ponerse maquillaje. Put on makeup. Mm -hmm. Another question? Thank you, teacher. Yes. Another question? Question, question. Somebody, anybody? No questions. Okay, let's continue. I think that two part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Okay, allí dice in informal English. In informal English, right? That means that this. Um, phrasal verbs are used in informal English. All right. Especially in formal English. Now that you have identified phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence with a pronoun. Okay, I would like for you to give me, you're going to go over here. You're going to put two part verbs, will for responding request. Copy that. You're going to go over here, añade una publicación. And where it says titulo, you're going to paste. And then here, I want you to give me five examples. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you're going to come over here and you're going to say, for example, um, hey, turn down the music. My baby is sleeping. Hey, bájale la música. Mi bebé está durmiendo. Okay. I will put it down. Okay, ya le voy a bajar. O por ejemplo, hey, apaga la luz. 
Eh, quiero tomar una siesta. Hey, turn off the light. I want to take a nap. Y le va a responder, ok. Ok. Teacher. I will, ajá. Uh -huh, we can say in the... it off. Ajá. Uh -huh. We can say or we can write, I want to take a rest. It's the same. Yes. Yes, that is correct. Okay. I will turn it off. Ok, cuando haya hecho las cinco, le va a dar enviar. Y le va a aparecer acá. Como completado. Y aquí aparece su nombre. So, sabemos que es usted. All right, any questions? Any questions? No. Okay. Uh, ¿Dónde this... encuentro el espacio, por favor? Uh, yes, this is going to be in the platform in section 1.3, right here on the video. You're going to go down, down, and you're going to go where it says, añade una publicación. And there on titulo, you're going to go to part verbs. Um, at this moment, we're going to take the attendance. En este momento, vamos a tomar asistencia. So when I call your name, please say present. When I call your name, please say present. Mientras tanto, puede estar escribiendo sus ejemplos. All right, let's go with the first one. Benjamin. I'm here. All right, thank you. And today is the 20th. 20th, there you go. Good. Uh, Brenda. I'm here. Thank you, Brenda. Uh, Carmen. Carmen. Absent. Okay. Edgar. Edgar. Edgar is absent. Okay. Elisa. Present teacher. Thank you. Giselle. Present. Thank you, Giselle. Janet. Present. Janet. Present Janet. Janet is present. Yes. Okay, thank you, Janet. Uh, Jose. Jose. Present. Thank you, Jose. Karen Bernal. Present teacher. Excellent. Karen Villanueva. Me, teacher. Very good. Leslie. Present. Excellent. Maria. Maria. Is absent. Marlene. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, let me have Melissa. 
Presente. Thank you, Melissa. Michelle. Present, teacher. Good job. Neftali. Neftali. Present, teacher. Good. Neftali. Nimrod. Nimrod. Oscar Santana. Present teacher. Excellent. Oscar Zambrano. Okay. Roberto. Uh, present teacher. Excellent. Roberto. Sara. Present. Thank you, Sara. Selma. Present. Very good. Sylvia. Present. Good job. Wendy. Present teacher. Awesome. Yenny. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay, so we got absent Oscar Zambrano, Nimrod, Maria. Edgar, Carmen, all right, audio self sentence. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Y de allí vamos a ver sus ejemplos. Eh, activé para que puedan compartir sus pantallas. So, ah, María dice present. Okay, ya la vi, María. Gracias. Vamos a ver, María, 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 present. Gracias, María. ¿Quién más? Hey, guys, cuando vean que su compañero escribe en el chat, por favor me avisa porque yo no estoy viendo eh, la pantalla Zoom. Yo estoy viendo una spreadsheet. Eh, veo que Oscar Antonio Zambrano dijo present en el chat. Gracias. Señor Zambrano. Teacher. Eh, Oscar Zambrano, present. Dígame. I need your help. What's up? Talk to me. En la plataforma, eh, where eh, write my example. Ah, eh, in the bottom. You're going to yes. go, you're going to go to the bottom. Eh, give me one moment. Thank I you. I see that Edgar is present right Edgar. Espérame, déjame ver que todos están acá porque varios escribieron aquí. Teacher, I'm here. Sorry, I have a really bad connection. Edgar y Oscar y Maria. Y Benjamin. My name is really bad. Okay. Okay, vamos. Vamos a repetir los que están ausentes. Eh, una vez más. Carmen, absent. Edgar, present. Um, Nimrod, absent. Y that's it. Okay, solo tenemos dos. Nimrod y Carmen. Y ahí todos estamos aquí. ¿Sí? See? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's continue. Vamos con uh, Jose. Va a, yes. irse, va a irse a la plataforma. Yes. En la plataforma se va a ir. Eh, vamos a ir donde dice curso desde el inicio. Okay. Esto es lo que va a ver al inicio de la plataforma. Yes. Entonces se va a ir donde dice section one. Ok, no problem. Le da clic allí. Yes. De ahí se va a cargar. De ahí se cuenta uno, dos, tres, cuatro. El cuatro icono es como un video. Le da clic allí. Yes. Y 
le va a aparecer esta pantalla que dice 1.3 two part verbs. Ok. Ok, vaya allí, se va a ir abajo donde dice añade una publicación. Uh -huh. Le da clic allí y donde le dice título en ese sí. cuadrito, usted va a subir y va a pegar esto, two part verbs, will for responding to requests. Lo va a copiar y lo va a pegar donde dice título. Okay. Le va a bajar otro poquito y va a haber una cajita y allí usted va a escribir sus cinco ejemplos. Cuando termine, okay. le va a poner enviar. Le da clic a Perfect. enviar. Le damos clic y allí nos sale el ejemplo. Ahí solo dice 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Veo que alguien ya lo empezó a hacer. Very good, Karen y Beth. Excelente. Sofía, please turn down the washing machine. I study my English class. Pero le faltó la respuesta. Recuérdense que yo quiero ver esto. Porque acuérdense que el tema es, eh, el tema es con respuesta. Will. ¿Verdad? Por eso dice, will for responding to request. Por eso es importante que eh, salga esta parte. Por ejemplo, los ejemplos que yo les di. Hey, turn down the music. Hey, bájale la música. My baby is sleeping. Mi bebé está durmiendo. Y de ahí la respuesta. En la respuesta tengo que ver el will. Ok, I will put it down. Ok, ya le voy a bajar. O el otro ejemplo. Hey, turn off the light. Hey, apaga la luz. I want to take a nap. Quiero tomar una siesta. Ok, I will turn it off. Ok, ahorita la apago. All right, so queremos ver también el will para responder. Eh, si quiere hacer editar, eh, Karen, lo único que tiene que hacer es irse acá. ¿Puede ver mi pantalla? Yes. Ok. Solo se va aquí donde están los tres puntitos. Y va a ver que dice más. Le da clic allí. Ok. A los tres puntitos. Y complete the sentence. ¿Por qué no me deja? I try, teacher. ¿Ah? Let me, I try, let me see. Give me a moment. No, no me está dejando. Bueno, se supone que dándole los tres puntitos, ahí le tiene que decir editar y ahí usted puede editar. All right, guys. Work pairs, work in groups. Uno puede compartir su pantalla. Uno puede compartir su pantalla. And let's go. Hi. Hi, how you doing? How you doing, everybody? Can you hear me? Uh, ¿Quién va a compartir la pantalla?
Si ustedes quieren, yo puedo compartir la pantalla, pero no sé qué piensan, ¿no? Buenas noches. Eh, sí, por favor, muchas gracias. Como a... vaya, ya se acabó. <ríe> no, no, ajá, tendría que poner entonces la cada oración, verdad? Sí, o sea, seguir la... la conversación, ajá. Ah, ok, entonces sería, por ejemplo, eh, turn down the radio, please, eh, because. I sleep. Ajá, así. Ajá, ok. Ajá, I y have... le pone punto y después pone I will, ok, o sea, ok, digamos que le da la respuesta ahí mismo la persona con la que usted está hablando y le da ok. Ah, ok. Ajá, perfecto. Okay, the another example I want is... to sleep. No le escuché bien, disculpe. Okay. <laughs> Como seguía la oración, I want to sleep. Yo puse... Put back my shoes, please, because I use tomorrow. And the respuesta, okay, I forget. I put back your shoes today. I want to share my... Um... I scream. Que me compartir pantalla, dice. ¿Quién va a compartir pantalla, chicas? Pero yo solo las estoy anotando, no puedo. Yo no puedo no las estoy anotando, no sé si... Ah, en el cuaderno las están anotando, pero como está mala la señal aquí. No puedo ingresar aún. Bueno. Ay, yo quiero ver... Hola. Elige tu alma. Aquí quiero ver si puedo. Uno. Vaya. Viene el tal. Yo creo que así es. No puedo escribir. Yo también soy valiente porque yo me salté a la guerra. Yo soy valiente. Correcto. Porque yo no me armé. 
Uy, con todo. Creo que así es, no sé. Eva, salí, bajá. Yeah. Si no es así, lo siento, les he fallado. Bien, sí. Welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, welcome back. Let me have two volunteers. Let me have two volunteers. Give me your example. Two volunteers, give me your example. One volunteer, give me your example. Three volunteers. All right, Jenny, go ahead. One example? Yes. Uh, your microphone is on silence. We can't hear you. Put back my shoes, please. Because I'll use tomorrow. Very good. Put. Put back. Put back my shoes, please. Because I will use them too. All right, put back my shoes, please. Because I will use them tomorrow. Perfect, thank you, Jenny. Another example. Me, teacher. Of course. Um, I put off my class because my son going to use the computer. Excellent. Good example. I put off my class because my son will use the computer. Good. Another example. Uh, me teacher. Okay. Uh, put put on some soft music or or turn down the light because I need to sleep. All right. Put on some soft music and turn or, down. The light. Uh, the light. Because oh. I need to sleep. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Um, I see that everybody understands this topic pretty well. At this moment, do you guys have any questions related to this topic? Any questions related to this topic? Anybody? No? Okay. Well, it's time to go, guys. Uh, thank you for joining us. Please continue working on the platform. Continue avanzando en la plataforma. And we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Peter. Yeah, have a good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night, right. everybody. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night.